Allen Yarmouth police officer honored by thousands. Today, a final salute. A final farewell. It's terrible what happened, but he loved what he did. To Sergeant Sean Gannon. Thousands of first responders from coast to coast, even from outside the United States, came to honor now Sergeant Sean Gannon. The officer posthumously promoted to sergeant by his department. He was a husband, a son, and officer, and so much more to that community. WBZ's Julie McDonald picks up our coverage live tonight in Yarmouth. Julie? Well, Paula and Liam, it really just still feels sad driving around town tonight. Uh, the blue ribbons are still waving on all of the telephone poles throughout the downtown. But the services are over and life will start to go back to normal here. But for one family and for this de police department, there's a hole that can never be repaired. They came from many miles and states away, most of them strangers, but brothers and sisters the same. On the day Sergeant Sean Gannon was laid to rest, police wanted his family to be met by this, a sea of support. Uh, one of my favorite sayings is that in our family, no one fights alone. So whether you know the officer or not, it could be your partner, it could be your best friend, it could be you. So we have to support each other and let the family know that we're here for them always. This type of thing brings all those memories back for us. Auburn police made these stickers for Yarmouth. Their department knows this pain too well. They buried officer Ronald Tarantino in 2016 after the husband and dad was killed during a traffic stop. It definitely hit home, you know, similar circumstances, you know, with regards to the, the perpetrator, um, you know, in both cases. There's some, some anger, honestly, about that. When it's appropriate, hopefully that conversation will happen and, and we can, uh, you know, move that forward in, you know, in Officer Gannon's name, in Officer Tarantino's name. And As law enforcement and the Cape community lean on each other, they find themselves humbled by the strength of the family who knew and loved Sean most. They have a very strong faith, and, and Sean, you know, did as well. And that's, you know, the tragedy happened. It's horrible that it happened, but what they have now going forward is their faith. Sean Gannon has served this police department for eight years, and when he wasn't working, he was often spending his time volunteering. He leaves behind a wife and a large family. Live in Yarmouth tonight, I'm Julie McDonald, WBZ News. Julie, 